Hi, my name is Tobias Stürzer, head of the Single Crystal Applications Group at Bruca. Today I want to show you how easy it is nowadays to determine the crystal structure. All you need for this is our D8 Quest, the fractometer, a control PC with our automated structure now software, and of course, a crystalline sample. Today we will have a look at this nice little blue guys, and yeah, let's go and mount a crystal. So here's our crystal, let's mount it on the instrument. I open structure now. The first thing we have to do is we have to bring the crystal into the X-ray beam. This goes with the help of the automatic goniometer head. You just click the crystal, it's moved automatically in the beam, and then we have to do it in the other orientation of the crystal. And there we are. The elements um, involved in the structure that are contained in the structure you have to enter them here. In this case, this is copper, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. The coefficients are not necessary here. And that's all information the software needs. So the only thing we have to, to say now is go. So here are, are already the first frames. Um, you see it's a quite nice crystal, very nice reflections, and you get a very good um, signal on our detector. There is already the unit cell. The software also automatically checks the, the databases. So you see here, it found six hits, um, some internal hits of my database, and also here, the Cambridge Structural Database. You just click the link, the web interface opens, and you can check whether the structure is already known or not. We already have our first structure solution. You see, it's quite nice. Um, all atoms are correctly assigned. Um, nitrogen here, oxygen here. Software keeps collecting data. Um, get, data gets more and more better and better, and you see the data is already good enough to do anisotropic refinement automatically and uh, add the hydrogen atoms. And you see now the structure model looks already excellent. All hydrogens are added, the geometry looks right. So this is, is, this is the, right, the right molecule. So the structure model is completed. The instrument just keeps continuing to collect data to, to get complete publishable data. And you can follow this um, here in the structure tab, where it shows you the structure and shows you how quality criteria, quality criteria um, improve over time. The data is already good enough. So let's have a look at the final report. So software compiled now all the remaining data and created a report. But already from the statistics, you can see it's a excellent data set, an excellent structure model without any effort from my side. Everything that has been done is uh, summarized in this report. Um, but basically, that's it. That's all you have to do. You have to pick and mount the crystal, enter the scatter types, the elements, press start, and let the software do the rest.